Okay, now I will be talking about the Institutes of the Christian Religion, um, which is essentially a book that was first published in 1536 um, by John Calvin, who is also famous for um, the religion Calvinism. So when it was originally published, it was um, written in Latin um, or published in Latin. Um, and then a couple years later, uh, roughly five years, it was um, published in French, which is John Calvin's native language. Um, so these instit institutes basically argue for the fact that people can reach the majesty of God um, and strive for justification of faith alone. Um, this basically means that you don't have to have a, any special connection to God in order to receive his loving. Um, so the average, basic, average man, woman, whoever can all talk to God as long as they have faith in the moment um, and faith in him. So um, by having this faith in him, um, they're basically guaranteed that they will go to heaven as long as they're true to the religion. Um, so this is kind of where God decides who goes to heaven, who goes to hell, um, not based off of the sins you've done, but based on having faith. Um, the Institutes also have it written that most people sin by nature, and it's just that's it's just something that happens um, and not something, you know, you can really control. Um, so this book um, decisively shaped Calvinism as one of the major religions at the time and still now. Um, and was extremely popular uh, across Europe and throughout the world. He essentially wrote this book to argue against the king at the time who had all the power, obviously. Um, so by him challenging it with this um, book, it was spreading a different message, not the same one that they were promoting in the church um, about Catholicism. Um, so it is a little bit controversial, but it's an important book um, in the Christian religion now.